Hi again, Janine here from Gentle Warrior and today I'm going to speak to you a little bit about intention sticks, um, also referred to as healing sticks or prayer sticks. Um, this is not one of my own that I've made. This is actually one I got back in um, South Africa from an amazing shaman that I met um, on my last uh, travels back home to the townships with the Zulu. Um, but I want to speak to you about making your own intention stick and why you should. So for using it as a prayer stick as well, it's a great way, another vessel or tool to connect to your ancestors to be able to communicate with them. Obviously, it's not the only, but it's just another method. Um, it is a creative way to get out of your head, to get out of ego and to connect to your soul as you go through almost a hypnotic hypnosis state um, while you are creating it, where you could be tying strings of wool around it. Um, the important part is that you are setting an intention of what the stick is for. So um, I've made a few talking sticks, for example, for when I have workshops and retreats um, with my clients. Some clients don't like to speak, other clients like myself have no problem speaking freely, but they find it difficult to break through that throat chakra in front of people, especially, and to really express how they feel. So I made my, might make a talking stick um, with any colors or feathers that I am drawn to, any extra crystals or whatever I want on there. And when I'm journeying to set the intent in the stick, I'm journeying that whoever holds the stick finds their power within themselves to voice and say what they need to say in a safe um, way and you know through a safe environment that I provide. So you could use these sticks or these prayer sticks to, to create anything any intent that you want as long as it's a good and positive intent so it really brings focus on making it as well um, once you've made the stick it's also great let's say we are um, doing an intent of finding your personal power and you're making that stick afterwards it's it's a great method to go and send yourself on a meditation or a journey with the shamanic drum whatever works for you and then getting answers from the stick that um you know that you have just worked on getting answers on what is coming what what medicine is coming from here for you to get your personal power back again and also through the stick it's a constant reminder of who we now are and what we have gained the healing that we have received from it the wisdom that we've received through our journeys and meditations with it so when you see this it's a reminder not to go back to the old habits and to keep pushing on through and but again if you do go back to the old habits remind yourself it takes a while it's a lot of practice it doesn't just happen overnight and be kind to yourself catch yourself doing it and just be oops there i went again okay next time i'm going to you know try to remind myself not to do that and once you're mindful of your actions and what you're doing that's the very first step anyway to making sure that you don't do it again so good luck with that if you'd like to find out some more and really have fun with it experiencing with exploring with it if you'd like to find out more you can get hold of me on um, my facebook page um, gentle warrior or on yourgentlewarrior.com we also have a great workshop coming up on creating your personal power stick which is in galway island um, on the 29th of july but these workshops will soon be coming online too so watch the space guys have a great day and i will speak to you soon all the best bye